Hello, Dr. Payan. Hello. So today I want to do actually three things at once. Oh wow. Wow. So I want to find the matrix of a linear transformation. I want to figure out if it's one to one. I want to figure out if it's on to. Okay. So here is a linear transformation. So T of x1, x2, x3, x4 equals zero, x1 plus x2, x2 plus x3, x3 plus x4. So it's a cute linear transformation. It's like it's zero and then it adds up those ones, those ones, and those ones. How do you find a matrix? Well, you just calculate T of one, zero, 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 T of zero, one, zero, zero, T of zero, zero, one, zero, and T of zero, 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 one. So strictly speaking, it's the matrix of T with respect to the standard basis of R4. Okay, if you do that, we get, again, first thing is zero, and then you add those two up, one, zero, zero, and then zero, and then one, one, zero, zero, uh, one, sorry, uh, zero, zero, sorry, one, one, and lastly, zero, zero, so zero, 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 one. And then all you do, you put all of those in a matrix, so the matrix of T will just be, so the first column is 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, and 0, 0, 0, 1. How cool is that? Okay. So does it matter if you put it in a row? Uh, yes, it matters because it turns out it will give you a different matrix. So again, the way things work in linear algebra, it's column-wise okay. generally, yeah. Even okay. though we do row reduction. Okay. Okay. So that's the first thing. The second thing is, um, um, is it one to one or is it on to? Well, you don't know what the answer is, so let's just row reduce as usual. But here the row reduction is cute. Basically, all you do, you put this row of zeros at the bottom. So you do something like that. So if you row reduce, you get 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay. And notice there are three pivots. And so you have to understand uh, what is one to one technically. So one to one. Technically, it means like in calculus, if x is not equal to y, then t of x is not equal to t of y. That is the calculus definition. Mm -hmm. For linear algebra, there's an easier one. It just means uh, t of x equals 0 implies x equals 0. Okay. I can prove it another day if you'd like. And, but remember, matrices are linear transformations. So I forgot to say, so I uh, forgot to say, uh, what this means is simply t of x is equal to just multiplication by a. So. What this means, again, maybe a better definition, it means ax equals to zero implies x equals zero. And the question is, is this true here? Well, no, because notice there's not a pivot in every column. In particular, this is a free variable. In particular, because there's a free variable, ax equals to zero must have infinitely many solutions because it has exact, at least one solution, x equals to zero. And so, um, because there's a free variable, there must be infinitely many solutions. So, in particular, it's not one to one because not a pivot in every column. And in particular, you have to remember, if there's a pivot in every column, then yes, it is one-to-one. -one. Okay. 
So this matrix, I mean, this transformation is not one to one. Question is, is it onto? So what does onto mean? I know confuses a lot of people. Uh, so technically onto R4. What this basically means is for every B in the output, you can find some X with B equals to TX. If you think of this as flying planes, if, if you think of this as US and this is Europe, for every city in Europe, you can fly to that city from the US. Mm -hmm. So think of, this is like Budapest, and I don't know, this is Xanadu or something. I don't know, <laughs> Xanax or something, okay. Anyway, <laughs> so, but this is not the definition we use. The definition really means for every B, Tx equals to B for some X. But again, this is like the abstract definition. Here we want to use linear transformations. So for every, here we want to use matrices. So for every B, AX equals to B is consistent. And well, the question is, is this consistent for every B? Well, turns out no, because notice there's not a pivot in every row. So you could have B being like something like 0, 0, 0, 1, and transform it back, and you get that it's not always consistent. So I think in this case, B would be 1, 0, 0, 0, and you see it's not always consistent. So the point is not 1 to 1, sorry, not on to, because not, there's not a pivot in every row. So, and I think it's very interesting. Pivots in every column means one to one. Pivot in every row means onto. So if you have both of them, it's pretty fantastic. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. Woo. <laughs>